Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and every watcher of this show right now, you are tuned back in to your favorite show with a real opinion. Camp James, I know you miss me. I miss y'all too, man. I miss y'all giving me hell about my opinions, about when I'm bringing the show back. I had to go through this for a year and a half. It's finally here. I want to give a big shout out to my boys at Sneaker Inc. for partnering up with me. And we want to bring y'all an awesome season this year, man. Camp James. So guys, before we even get too deep into the shoes, before we even go there and I show you what I picked up, I mean, I haven't seen you guys in a year and a half, so of course, it's gonna take time for me to catch up. So where I'm starting now is me coming back to the game. The game got kind of eh for me, and I'm back now with an opinion. And I want to say for 2017, I want to give a big shout out to Nike. I want to start in the Nike world. Nike is what I grew up on. I feel that they're making the plays that I like from Nike. And once again, I, those plays always come with trial and error. Everything is not going to be perfect. My opinion is my opinion. I purchase these shoes so that I can give an honest opinion. Easy as that. So first, in the Nike world, we're going to go with these bad boys right here. Who got these? Masters, Nike Air Max 1s. First of all, it's the Nike Air Max 1. You guys already know. This is a shoe. This is a real shoe. If you're a shoe collector, this is what you collect, per se. One of the things, at least. Um, this shoe is really awesome. I was kind of like chilling on the Air Max game. I felt like I had everything that I needed, and then Nike dropped this, and I said, wow, this is crazy. There's 12 different shoes that make up this shoe. I want to say that some of the ones I can think of off the top are the Safari Air Max ones. You got your Patters, Powers, you got your OGs right here. Bam, bam, Viotech, not bad at all. It's pretty cool. These are pretty good. This, the swoosh, the material on the swoosh. No complaints. Gum bottom, you know how I feel about gum bottom. Ain't things, things ain't changed. Things have not changed. Gum bottom still turns me on. Let's go on the inside here. Let's get a little, con a little, let's vandalize a little bit. Normal. I would like to see something in here. Me personally, I'm just saying, if you give me a chance, I'm gonna take a little bit more. That would've been great. Those are really normal. Which part? Do you guys think, which Air Max 1 do you like on this particular one the most? For me, it's probably going to be the OG red fronts. I like that. I really like this little bit of blue in the back on this one. Separately, outside of this shoe, I'm a big fan of those Safari Pack 1s, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that's where they got this one from. That's my favorite. So let me know. Because I want to be, I want to know. This is the first episode back, guys. I want to know your opinion. What do you think? We, we have a lot to talk about. You can curse me out, whatever, in the comments below. Put it right down there. Air Max Master Ones. These come in white also, or friends and family. I don't have those. But if you do have those, shout out to you. I'm still a bigger fan of these. Just my personal opinion. Moving forward. Ah, did I get these on Air Max Day or the release day? No. Did I just get them recently? Yes. Am I mad about that? Not one bit because, guys, I'm not about hype. I'm not. What's wrong with the Air Max 1? I grew up on Air Max 1s. I love them. They're great. It's at least five other Air Max that I still don't have colorways in that are more important than this. But I feel like this is a new season of Cam James and what got me back interested and wanted to give opinions is the new technology that the sneaker game is bringing to the game, especially my boys at Nike. So we have here the Nike Vapor Max. I was late on getting this shoe, so I wore it a lot. I wore these like three days in a row, something I don't do. Um, 
Did I run in them? No, I didn't. But do I run in my Air Max One? No, I don't. I walk in them. I don't feel that everybody buys running shoes to run in them. But if you do running your running shoes, I am very happy for you. Keep running. But I walk in my Air Max. And that's what I did. I bought my Vapor Max and I walked in them. Are these as comfortable as everybody says? No. I could take the blame. Maybe God gave me a stupid foot. Maybe he did. I don't think he did, but maybe he did. Because, oh my God. According to where you press down on these, it hurts. And I tried it with no socks. And I was like, maybe it's a sock thing. Maybe it's like, maybe, because I don't think that Nike made this to be like a sock dart or a shoe that you just put on with no socks. I don't think so. But if they did, all right. I went barefoot. Went barefoot in here. You feel even more of the pressure from these bubbles. When I first put them on, it was a negative situation. The tongue ripped on me. I mean, guys, was I upset? I mean, kind of, yeah. I mean, I don't want the shoe as soon as I put it on for, to rip on me. And that's what the shoe did. You know, um, the normal procedure of putting on a Nike, you slip it on, but when I pull my tongue up, it ripped on me. Now, if you're telling me that I'm pulling tongues too hard, that's a little strange. I mean, I'm, I've lost weight, so I'm not that strong. And it ripped. It, it ripped, and, and like it, I was like, wow, wow, this is weird. This is awkward. But that's something to watch out for. And honestly, my overall opinion on this shoe is that if you're a collector, you definitely need one for your collection. But I know that Nike's going to make a lot of colorways in this shoe, and they already have to a certain extent. I don't need all of them or even all the hype ones. I'm cool. Like I said, CDG ones, because that triple black looks crazy. I think it has no laces on those also. I want those. If you have those in the comments below, give your boy a good price. I'm just saying. You know, it'd be like that. It's America, baby. Nike, Vapor Max. I love you, Nike. Just saying. Keep it in the world of Nike before we move on. If you see dirt around it, love it because I wear them. Wear your kicks. I'm going to wear them all. Subtempos. You guys, you already know from when I told you guys about those red uptempos from like 30 seasons ago. I love the Nike uptempo. It's a Pippin. I call these the Pippins, my personal opinion. Um, Supreme, what the crap. Good job, guys. I mean, what? What am I going to hate on you? No. I mean, Sub tempos are dope. Um, you have your SUP R, sorry. Even going down this side. Um, this is good hype. All hype's not bad, guys. This is good hype. This is good hype. This is executed well. You know, I mean, the fact that they're doing a basketball shoot, that's really cool. It's really cool. I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all. Um, let me give you a little peep of the inside. Nothing too crazy going on. They kept it simple. You know, I'll do that for you guys. Rip that off. Supreme Times Nike. Boom. And one cool thing about this one, I was able to get a 10 and a half. They still fit good. I wear 11. I got 10 and a half. But if somebody has those black ones in 11, holla at your boy. I still need all black. Need that. Just a, That just feels OG to me. I, I want to hoop in those or whatever. But, I mean, I'm, I mean, if we're talking about breaking necks, if the kids still say that, this is neck break. I mean, I, I broke like 17 necks. 17. Necks. First day. Just saying. Subtempos. And it's gold. I mean, come on. I'm biased. Moving on to the competition. <laughs> Guys, this is what I cop lately. You want me to lie to you? I've been buying hype shoes. I've been late. I've been focusing on other things. But this is what I cop lately. Freaking cream Yeezys V2s. 
350. W what do you say about this? Like, it's gonna get dirty? Yeah. I mean, why do you buy a shoe that's gonna get dirty so fast? I don't know, because you have money and you want it. Why? What, what is the reason behind buying the shoe? Honestly, it's comfortable. This is a good shoe. I feel that uh, I'm not really caught up too much in getting every single colorway that came out because some of the colorways are trash. Trash. I'm sorry, trash. The black and little tan joints, that's trash. That's a waste of time. But hey, get your money, have be happy. This is good. I'm not mad at it. And actually, I'm going to bring up his cousin so I can kind of give you a... Because what can you say about this? It's just a clean shoe. The zebras. And I will tell you, I can be honest with you guys. Um, the year and a half that I was gone, I really lost my, my hype beast gene inside of me. So it was just like I wasn't hyped about anything. I was like, dang, like nothing is really doing it for me. And then I say about the last six months or so, seven months as I've been prepping and thinking about like, man, how do I bring the show back? And just paying attention to the game again. Certain things that I've seen early, I was like, oh, man, these get me excited. And I've seen these early, and I was excited. Because you guys know I like animal print. I'm that guy. It is what it is. But I will say, in person, having these shoes, it is what it is. You know, I mean, if you don't have it, don't cry about it. If you do have it, it's not bad to have to the Yeezy collection. Or whatever. I've been trying to I've been collecting Yeezy since the first one that I almost had to camp out for. You know, the Yeezy ones in the Nike world. So to see him transfer over to Adidas, who kick butt. Uh, Adidas you're still kicking butt. I'm not gonna take it away from you. And to be here with it, I'm not mad at all. To go from the first 350 to this one, I thought that this extra thick sole that they put on here would kill me. It doesn't kill me. It doesn't. I could deal with it. Totally. Is this shoe comfortable? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, is it not the one to go to in the rain? It is not. But I also feel, I want to pitch this out there, that the next one should be waterproof, if possible. Um, that would be smart. It is a thing. I mean, waterproof, Yeezys, 350, that, that's nothing. I mean, you guys are great. Adidas, Kanye, just, that's, that's just tech stuff. Waterproof V2s. If you say that, if you believe in that, put a yay below. If you don't, don't say anything. Oh, man. Let me take your change worlds again. Yes, I just pulled out some Vans. Yes, in the past. I don't really rock Vans. That's what I say. Hey, I don't really rock Vans that much, you guys know. Yes, guys. First episode, I'm pulling out two pairs. Because you know what I do rock now? Vans. I do. Am I ashamed of it? H no. Vans, man. Come on. But nah. I don't have the biggest collection. I have simple stuff, so from time to time, I will share with you guys the ones that I get. But these open ceremony joints are crazy. Um, all glitter top. The silver strings, the inside. What we got going on here? What we got going on? Oh man, this feels like it's about to be violent. God, I love you guys. It's okay. Oh, the pain. Good Lord, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's what my dentist says to me, and he hurts my tooth. I'm so sorry. Simple. Open ceremony, times van, on the inside. Black on this one. Kind of cool about this one, which I really want to show you the inside on this. It's red to kind of go with the, the red van logo. That's pretty dope. You know, I'm a big, I'm a sucker for good color blocking, but I like the way that looks, that pink with the red, red insole. And then we have like the, they lined it with like this pink, like leather on the inside. Pretty nice. And what I just realized with the insole, 
the red part that I showed you guys, that red part is leather, but the rest of it is regular insole material. So that's pretty cool. So you got the red leather next to the pink. That's pretty awesome, guys. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I can't really take back what I said in the past about Vans, but what I can tell you now, I wear Vans, guys. I do. I enjoy it. Nothing wrong with it, baby. Open ceremony, Vans. I'm sorry. I work out. I play a lot of basketball. And believe it or not, these Under Armors are the most comfortable sneaker I've put on all 2017. Am I saying stylish? No. Am I saying this is the biggest swag on earth? No. Am I saying that this is the most comfortable shoe that I've wore in the entire 2017, no matter what brand I put on? Yes, I am, because it is. The Rock did a collab with Under Armour. They're called the Delta, Delta something. These are crazy. They're comfortable. They're ridiculously comfortable. If you work out, if you play basketball, and you want to get another shoe, and you want to get something for a decent price, this shoe is crazy. You know, he has his logo on the back, the rock, the bull. You know, simple. Ladies and gentlemen, kids, fans, Camp Jamies. This shoe is super comfortable. I am not trying to tell you that, hey, you're going to get all the girls in high school with this. No. But you definitely won't break an ankle, and you definitely will run faster. And... On some swag stuff, the whole top is 3M. So, hey, I'm just saying, if that matters to you, I'm just letting you know. But I want to give Under Armour a big shout out for making a very comfortable shoe. Comfort matters. I, I feel that everybody these days are more into the comfort game. Whether you're an Air Max, a Vapor Max person, whether you're doing the Boost thing. I don't own any Adidas Boosts. Not to say they're not comfortable. I don't own any. It's fine. Under Armour, though, these, I wore these. I play ball in these. I worked out in these. These are crazy when it comes to comfort. Shout out to Under Armour. Shout out to The Rock. Good job. Yep, yep, yep. So I can be honest with you guys. I really wanted the Motorsport 4s. These are the retros. I never had the Motorsport 4s. I never did. Um, had the Motorsport 6s, but not the Motorsport 4s. I'm very happy that they made a retro. This is now my first. Um, I want another fresh pair of these. So if anybody got 11 fresh pair, they're probably, probably still in the store. But I need to get these again because I've been wearing them, as you can see. And I will say that 4s, man, they, they take a beating. These 4s these lately, they take a weird type of beating. But... It's not bad. Um, I'm not going to sit up and tell you this is the craziest leather. I'm not saying that. I can't. It's not. It's not. Judge me. It is what it is. But this colorway is awesome. This shoe on foot is great. Motorsport 4s. Same, same, same mock-up as, you know, red 4s. Um, Mars Blackman joints. Nothing changes. Inside, you still got your regular black and so Blue Jumpman on her. Just like that. Blue jump, man. You know? It's a shoe, man. It's a shoe. Guys, we go so extreme over sneaker opinions and materials and, well, this is supposed to be that. I always say to you guys, and I'm not going to change it, when a retro comes out or a new shoe comes out, that is this shoe's legacy. That is this shoe's story. The stuff in the past, that's that shoe story. To give you a better example, I'm going to pull these out. Has this shoe ever came out before? Uh, Air Jordan 4 cause collab. Has this ever came out before? No. Do I hate how bad it creases in the toe box when you wear it one time? Yes. But am I going to talk crap about it? No, because that's this shoe's story. And if they bring this shoe out again, it's going to be a little bit different. Maybe they'll make it with quality that it doesn't crease that much in the toe box. 
Who knows? But you got to let a shoe, let a sneaker have its own story. These are hard. Shout out to Cause. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to the whole team. Everybody over there. I'll give you some little details on this guy right here. We got the Cause. Boom. In the back. Take out some stuff here. Boom. Like that. So we have the Cause print and the insole. Jordan times Cause. As you can see. Boom. The sways on this this guy. <clears throat> Crazy. Like I said, outside of just the weird creasing in the toe box, the shoe is top 10. I'm telling you right now, top 10, 2017. Top 10. If you don't think so, sh give me 10 better shoes. We'll talk in December. Give me, give me 10 more, please. Please give me 10 more. Come on, they glow in the dark. I didn't even want to go to the hype stuff. Like, they glow in the dark after just the top alone. Like, what are we talking about here, man? This is a good shoe. Gray suede goes with anything. I've seen some customs that were crazy, some Photoshop customs, and they were like black and green, and they were based off of like a, another cost toy. If they was to make those, black, green, pink, I think, man, I, I might trade a family member. I'm just letting y'all know ahead of time. If you see on eBay a tall black man, kind of like 220, that's my father. We're trying to make up money for some black cars. All right? In the inside, leather insides, we got the cars stamped here. Boom. In the top. This is in my top 10. Buy what you like. We got gifts. I want to give a big shout out to Sounder Boys. That's the gift gun. I want to give a big shout out to Sounder Boys. My boy, Friend Relations, he's been on the show before. My boy was smart. When you're really in this game and you've really been collecting, man, it makes it a little harder for you to figure out how can I make money, per se, out of something that I'm passionate about and I don't want to hurt the culture. And he decided to make slides. He could have made sneakers. He could have made t-shirts. He could have made hats, dad caps, you name it. He made slides. Sounder boys, these guys are awesome. Um, just being the guy that I am in a perfect world, if they're glowed in the dark, that might, that might make me feel crazy. That might make me feel kind of crazy. But hey, next time. These come in other colors too. Thank you. We appreciate the gift. They got Sounder Boys on the inside. If you're not familiar, get familiar. Sounder Boys? Guys, are you wondering what I wore today? Who can guess what I wore today? What do you think I wore with this outfit, with this lay? Shout out my boy Ann Juan Carrots. Little old Supreme. YSL jeans. YSL glasses. What do you think? What sneaker do I have on right now? Obviously it's a sneaker because I just said that. What do I have on? In your mouth. Be upset. Feel a type of way. Say something negative. Made by the shoe surgeon himself. The Air Jordan 1 field boot. Ikea style. Be upset. Be mad. Feel a type of way. I got them on, and they're hard. They're super comfortable. This is Japanese plunge leather in here. Blue suede. Yellow python for the check. This is an Ikea bag. He made this from scratch. Am I biased? When you're dope, yes, I am biased, because this is awesome. What the crap? Come on, man. Pull tabs in the back. I your mama got an Ikea bag. It's sitting at the house. What you gonna do with it? Make a shoe. What? It's a stash pocket in here. Do you, do you see that? It's a stash pocket there, buddy. Come on. It's a stash pocket. 
Guys, you know that I'm not the biggest custom guy, but is this a custom or is this art? Because the shoe surgeon is definitely not no customizer. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm passionate. This is amazing. It's suede. All right, all right. You guys will let me go there. Strap could come off. That's great. That's great. Blue wax laces. So we got your mama's Ikea bag right here. Blue suede in the middle. Some more on the toe cap. I've seen a lot of different stuff. And for those who don't know, to bring it back down in more of a regular world, Balenciaga, they did a bag, if I'm not mistaken, that was basically high priced. Everybody's like, yo, this is an Ikea bag. What are y'all doing? I think even Ikea might have threw some shots, shade, whatever. Hey, have nothing to do with that. But it inspired a whole spew of Ikea-based products, whether it's jackets, shoes, bags, you name it, masks, underwear, you name it, okay? Who would have ever thought? Think about how long Ikea bags, the same bag, has existed. The same bag. This is art, and I respect art. Here at Camp James, we respect art, and this is art. And Shoe Surgeon, you're the man. You killed these. The Air Jordan 1 field boot. I'm happy. Last but not least, guys. Last but not least. Camp James style. I don't do this. This is new. Will it offend you? I don't care. It's my show. But I want to bring you into the world where I've been. I want to help you to understand why I've kind of been absent for the game from a year and a half from doing the show. I like collecting boots now. <laughs> I, hey, hey, I mean, is it a gold Gucci boot? Yes. Is it expensive as crap? Yes. Is this a Jordan resale value? No. It's pure style, pure confidence. And one thing that I'm a big fan of pushing is confidence and good style. And this is some of the reasons why I backed off from doing the show. I was focused on a different thing. I'm growing up too. Just saying. This Gucci boot is awesome. I want to shout out to Gucci for killing it this year from a fashion standpoint, boot standpoint. Um, this is very 70s inspired. The buckle. Wood bottom. Got to break those in. Camp James Styles, man. It's always good to switch it up. I'm not telling you to go gold boot. I'm just telling you that it's good to switch up. Style is everything. I feel like your sneakers is a style. You wear sneakers to go out. You wear sneakers on dates. You wear sneakers for different things. You wear boots, too. And... I want to make sure for that kid who wants to be stylish, you do it the right way. Guys, I'm really happy you're back with me on this journey of good shoes, bad shoes, horrible shoes. Please tell a friend to tell a friend, Camp James is back!